Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to see the highlights of Mystica VR 10.2. So stay focused and let's go. Euroscope metadata integration supported for Kanda Obsidian, Qualcomm and Tekke 360 Anywhere. In this new version of Mystica VR, you can now import the motion sensor metadata of these three cameras, which will result in automatic stabilization regardless of the lighting conditions of the scene. In fact, this is really useful and easy to use. When you have your shot stitched, you only have to go to Stabilize, Import Stabilization Metadata, and let Mystica do the rest. Here you can see the difference between the metadata applied and without it. Rolling Shutter Compensation This new feature will significantly improve the results when applying stabilization in post together with stitching. This refers to both imported stabilization and stabilization based on image analysis. This new feature brings us this new parameter called Shutter Angle, which will help us with the stabilization of our shot by compensating the deformation generated by the rolling shutter of our camera. So let's focus on this building and if I play, you can see this kind of, of movement and we, if we set the uh, correct value between 0 and 360 in Shutter Angle, it will make it smoother. In this case it's 308 and as you can see it becomes smoother. If the stabilization metadata of your camera is supported by Mystica, as soon as you click Stabilize and import stabilization metadata, Mystica will automatically calculate this value. Multiple options for output media naming. Rendering functionality of Mystica VR has now been expanded to include multiple options for output media naming. To use this feature, simply go to File, Render, and as you can see here, you can choose between segment index, source name, render name, and one or two folder apps. For example, this media is from this folder, Kanda Obsidian. So, if here in the render I choose source one folder app or render name, which is Kanda Render, then my render file it is going to be Kanda Obsidian, which was the folder name, and Kanda Render which was the render name. It is your lucky day if you're a Windows user, because in this new version you will also notice a significant performance boost. Users running Mystica VR on Windows will notice this in two aspects. Firstly, interactive performance and playback speed has been significantly improved, typically two or three times faster when optical flow is not activated. Also, render speed on Windows may improve considerably for renders without optical flow, most of VR180 or preliminary VR360 renders. PTW import now accepts cameras with lenses in rectilinear mode. This facility is working with very large camera rigs, such as RED for example. Finally, we have had some new camera presets. For example, from this one, TK360 Anywhere. To use this, simply right click, click load preset, and look for the correct one. In my case, this one. Double click and magic. In this list, you can see the new cameras supported by our presets. These are some of the main improvements and new features of this new version of Mystica VR. For more information, please visit our website. Consider subscribing if you want to keep up with the news about Mystica VR. Thanks for watching and enjoy Mystica!